Hey everyone, welcome to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 8 with a modem firmware issue. I don't know if you can see that, but I guess the back glass is meaning that is in iPhone 8. Uh, I'm just going to show you right now, uh, as you can see there is a cellular uh, issue over here. Let's go to settings and I'm going to show you there is no modem firmware and this is a iPhone model, iPhone 8 model. Sorry, as you can see, and uh, here we go. Uh, we don't have a modem firmware, and uh, obviously, uh, this is an issue with a Qualcomm models. And as you can see, I have another uh, iPhone 8 also with the same problem with the no modem firmware. I'm going to fix it uh, after this phone. I don't know if I'm going to do uh, another video for it, but if it's the same uh, fix, so I guess not. And of course, also we are going to uh, see if this phone will go through the repair. Um, but anyhow, uh, sometimes you will get the message that you can't use your seller data and other stuff related to the seller. Uh, so again, uh, as always, we are going to run our diagnostic and diagnostics, and uh, then we start uh, the typical uh, Qualcomm uh, modem repair. So uh, let's jump under the microscope. Let's go. So. The basic diagnostics is to check if everything is okay with the board, uh, like if it's uh, water damaged or the phone um, fell off or something like that. And uh, now we're going to check. And of course, uh, after that, we're going to go to a typical area or as I, I would like to say, a common Qualcomm uh, area, which is the PMU baseband, which has a very common problem with the modern firmware itself. Uh, we're going to remove it and check every pad to see the uh, resistance using my multimeter and then we're going to solder a new one and now i would like also to add that uh, there is a very cool thing that i liked in the iphone 8 and 8 plus and x series is that the transceiver has been actually fused in um, fusion not fused fusion in one chip which is a good and a bad thing but uh, anyhow i'm not going to talk about it in this video because I said I'm going to make a future video about the transceivers and how they work and all the problems uh, with all the iPhones regarding the cellular issue. Uh, so yeah, I guess if we had uh, this phone fixed, uh, that would be great. If not, um, well, you have to check all the outputs voltages from the PMU baseband and also check the WTR transceiver itself and of course the baseband, uh, but it's very rare very very rare for the baseband itself to become an issue for the Qualcomm version obviously in the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and X series uh, but uh, always check everything so uh, you can be sure 100% so uh, now let's start our work let's go
Okay, as simple as uh, this was, uh, we're going to test our work and believe me, it's not always the PMU. Uh, but I guess in this video is uh, that changing the PMU and of course we uh, measured all the pads on the board for the PMU uh, Qualcomm which is the power management for the baseband uh, I guess that uh, our work will do the job which is repairing the uh, serial data issue but uh, still we have a problem with the vibration I didn't mention in the introduction of the video I have to check but uh, yeah um, the reason why it's always the PMU in my videos basically I'm not recording every repair I do because it's very stressful and we will waste a lot of time and uh, of course uh, now before that let's go and check the data the 3G server data and the LTE and uh, let's change to LTE and go and check web page. Let's go to Safari, go to Google. Okay, fast enough for me, no problem. Let's go and dial any number. I'm going to dial to port the operator. Operator. Okay, here we go. I guess everything is okay, no problem. So we have a problem with the vibration and uh, after that uh, we are going to check the other iPhone 8 if it's not the PMU of course I'm going to uh, record it and I'm going to do or upload the video uh, in the near future so uh, yeah I guess uh, this is the iPhone 8 we are going to do it and of course yeah that's it for this video our work is done thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and uh, have a good day. And I will catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.